5 Reasons Why You Absolutely Need To Visit Somalia Hello Desplorers, welcome back to another informative video presented to you by Desplorer and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be bringing you 5 reasons why you absolutely need to visit Somalia. But first, let's have a brief background of Somalia. Somalia is a southern country in the Horn of Africa. It is bordered by Ethiopia to the west, the Gulf of Aden to the north, the Gaddafi Channel and Somali Sea to the east, and Kenya to the southwest. Somalia has the longest coastline on Africa's mainland and its terrain consists mainly of plateaus, plains, and highlands. Hot conditions prevail year-round with periodic monsoon winds and irregular rainfall. Somalia has an estimated population of around 15.8 million people and has been described as Africa's most culturally homogeneous country. Around 85% of its residents are ethnic Somalis who have historically inhabited the country's north. Ethnic minorities are largely concentrated in the south. The official languages of Somalia are Somali and Arabic. Most people in the country are Muslims. The majority of them are Sunni. In the late 19th century, Somalia was colonized by European powers, first Germany, then Britain, and early when the Germans abandoned their air force in 1890. The British and Italians established the colonies of British Somaliland and Italian Somaliland. In the interior, Mohamed Abdullah Hassan's Darwish repelled the British four times, forcing a retreat to the coast before succumbing to the Somaliland campaign in 1920. Italy acquired full control of the northeastern, central, and southern parts of the area after successfully waging the campaign of the Sultanate against the ruling Majiritin Sultanate and Sultanate of Hobyo. In 1960, the two regions united to form the independent Somali Republic under a civilian government. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The capital of Somalia is Mogadishu and the official language of the country is Somali, but Arabic is also spoken in the country. So without any further delay, here are 5 reasons why you need to visit Somalia. Number 1. The Diverse Wildlife of Somalia Somalia contains a variety of mammals due to its geographical and climate diversity. Wildlife still occurring includes cheetah, lion, reticulated giraffe, baboon, serval, elephant, bush pig, gazelle, ibex, kudu, dick dick, oribi, Somali wild ass, red buck, and grievous zebra, elephant shrew, rock hyrax, golden mole, and antelopes. It also has a large population of the dromedary camel. Somalia is currently home to around 727 species of birds. Of these, eight are endemic, one has been introduced by humans, and one is rare or accidental. 14 species are globally threatened, but species found exclusively in the country include the Somali pigeon, Alemon hamertoni, Lesser hooper lark, Heto mirafra acheri, Arcas lark, mirafra ashi, Ashes bush lark, mirafra somalica, Somali bush lark, Spizocoris obiensis, Obia lark, Cordulis johannis, and Warsangli linnet. Somalia's territorial waters are prime fishing grounds for highly migratory marine species, such as tuna. There are roughly 235 species of reptiles. Of these, almost half live in the northern areas. Reptiles endemic to Somalia include the Hyrxor skilled viper, the southern Somali garter snake, a racer, a diadem snake, the Somali sand boar, the angled worm lizard, a spiny-tailed lizard, Lazas agama, a gecko, the Somali semaphore gecko, and a sand lizard. The colubrid snake and the hagrius king are endemic species. Number 2. The Cuisine of Somalia The cuisine of Somalia, which varies from region to region, is a mixture of diverse culinary influences. It is the product of Somalia's rich tradition of trade and commerce. Despite the variety, there remains one thing that unites the various regional cuisines. All food is served halal, permissible or lawful. There are therefore no pork dishes, alcohol is not served, nothing that died on its own is eaten, and no blood is incorporated. Kado or lunch is often elaborate as varieties of berries or rice, the most popular probably being basmati, usually acts as the main dish. Spices including cumin, 
cardamom, cloves, cinnamon and garden sage are used to add aromas to different rice dishes. Somali serve dinner as late as 9 p.m. During Ramadan, the evening meal is often presented after Tarawi prayers, sometimes up to 11 p.m. Salwo is a popular confection reserved for special festive occasions, such as aid celebrations or wedding receptions. It is made from cornstarch, sugar, cardamom powder, nutmeg powder, and ghee. Peanuts are also sometimes added to enhance texture and flavor. After meals, homes are traditionally perfumed using frankincense or incense, which is prepared inside an incense burner referred to as the dab card. Somalis eat not just as many do, but they eat in style following the tradition. Number 3. The Fascinating Architecture of Somalia Somali architecture is a rich and diverse tradition of engineering and design involving multiple types of constructions and edifices, such as stone cities, castles, citadels, fortresses, mosques, mausoleums, temples, towers, monuments, cairns, megaliths, menhirs, dolmens, tombs, tumuli, stales, cisterns, aqueducts, and lighthouses. Spanning the country's ancient, medieval, and early modern periods, it also embraces the fusion of Somali Islamic architecture with contemporary Western designs. In ancient Somalia, pyramid-shaped structures known in Somali as talo were a popular burial style, with hundreds of these dry stone monuments scattered around the country today. Houses were built of dressed stone, similar to the ones in ancient Egypt. There were also examples of courtyards and large stone walls enclosing settlements, such as the Waragade Wall. The adoption of Islam in Somalia's early medieval history by Islamic architectural influences from Arabia and Persia. This stimulated the shift in construction from dry stone to other related materials to coral stone, sun-dried bricks, and the widespread of use of limestone in Somali architecture. Many of the new architectural designs such as mosques were built on the ruins of older structures, a practice that will continue over and over again throughout the following centuries. These structures will amaze you when you visit it, and the picturesque images you will have will most definitely blow your mind. Number 4. The Beauty of Somalia Somalia has a number of local attractions, consisting of historical sites, beaches, waterfalls, mountain ranges, and national parks. Somalia is most definitely one of the most beautiful countries in Africa, and they are totally willing to have the world experience the beauty of their nation. Notable sites include the Las Gil Caves, containing Neolithic rock art, the Kao Mado, Golis Mountains, and Ogo Mountains, the Iskushuban and Lamadaya Waterfalls, and the Hargeza National Park, Jalib National Park, Kismayo National Park, and Lagbadana National Park. Number 5. A visit to Somalia is a visit to one of the few homogeneous countries in Africa. Unlike European countries which are mostly ethnically homogeneous, most African countries are extremely diverse, leaving just a very few to being homogeneous. Somalia is one of such countries, and a visit to Somalia means discovering how they function as a people, and it will be extremely easier to understand people from a majority single ethnicity than a country which is extremely diverse. Somalia had an estimated population of around 15 million inhabitants and about 85% of local residents are ethnic Somalis, who have historically inhabited the northern part of the country. They have traditionally been organized into nomadic pastoral clans, loose empires, sultanates, and city-states. Civil strife in the early 1990s greatly increased the size of the Somali diasporas, as many of the best educated Somalis left the country. Non-Somali ethnic minority groups make up the remainder of Somalia's population and are largely concentrated in the southern regions. They include Bravanese, Bantus, Bajuni, Ethiopians, Yemenis, Indians, Persians, Italians, and Britons. Visit Somalia and enjoy how it feels to be with one of the few homogeneous countries in Africa. For sticking up to this point, here is a little secret for you who are still wondering. Somalia is a country recovering from a long period of instability caused by civil war. That recovery includes Mogadishu, formerly known as the White Pearl City of the Indian Ocean. 
Mogadishu is the capital of Somalia and a major commercial city on the coast of Africa. Mogadishu was a major battleground in the Somali Civil War, which ravaged the country from 1991 until 2012. Since then, the city has experienced a period of rapid reconstruction, including a brand new international airport, paved roads, new hotels, and embassies which have been financed by the diaspora Somalis and the international community. Hence, visiting Mogadishu in Somalia is a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see firsthand a recovering city which is not only returning to its former glory, but also getting a better face not only for itself but the entire nation. So, start booking that flight, of course after the coronavirus pandemic is over as we advise you to stay safe. There you have it, this Flores. Those were the 5 reasons why you absolutely need to visit Somalia. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover absolute 5 reasons to visit a particular country, leave a suggestion in the comment section and we will do all to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy, do all to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.